Our hip thrusts are a great strength exercise for our glutes, so our butt, our hamstrings, and also our posterior chain as well, so a little bit of the low back and those postural muscles in the upper back too as we straighten that back and thrust those hips up. These are very similar to our normal glute bridges that we do on the floor. Sometimes these are also referred to as glute bridges as well. The term is kind of interchangeable between that floor exercise and this exercise as well. However, for clarification purposes, we're gonna to refer to these as our hip thrusts when they are gonna be elevated. What this is gonna do by elevating that upper body is gonna provide a little bit more range of motion for you here, and it should get a little more stretch and contraction in the glutes because of that. So you're gonna to wanna to use a bench for this exercise. We are using right here our Reebok bench that I definitely recommend if you have the ability to pick one up because you can adjust it in many different ways. It's a very versatile bench to use. And I like to use one foot up. You can see that far foot is in the up position, the bottom foot is in the down position, so there's a slight slope to it. This makes it a little more comfortable to get into the position here for these hip thrusts. However, if you do not have a bench that's able to be adjusted like this, you can always just use a flat bench. It's just gonna be a little tougher to get into position for it. That flat bench, what you'll do is you'll sit up on the bench with the weights, and then you'll scoop your butt off of the bench to where your shoulder blades are hanging on the bench, just like I am here, and this, the rest of your body from about your midsection here, belly button on down, is gonna be hanging off of the bench with your feet flat on the floor. So I'm gonna scoot up against the bench here. Remember, like I said, we want our shoulder blades up on the bench, but we want our back from around that belly button all the way down to be off of that bench so that we can get our range of motion here. We're gonna bring the feet in nice and close to the butt. We're gonna grab those weights. Sometimes people will use a barbell for this exercise. So for that, what you'll do is you'll have your legs extended. You'll roll that barbell up to the hip portion here. Then you'll bend your legs so that barbell is across the hips. For these, we're gonna use dumbbells though, since these are more common at home. I'm gonna bring those dumbbells up and set them right on my hips. I can either use two dumbbells, one on each hip, or I can drop down to one and divide it between the two hips. This allows you to adjust your weight on these a little bit further. From here, I'm gonna keep my shoulder blades planted on the bench, that's my pivot point. I'm gonna drive those hips up into the air, squeeze the butt, get those hips nice and high here, and then control them right back down. So think about pushing up or up and slightly back in here towards you, okay? So mostly up in the air so we can squeeze the glutes here. What we're not doing is we're not just pushing the body upward. We're not just kind of going like this on the bench. What we want to make sure we're focusing on is using the glutes and hamstrings to really push up into the air, squeezing that butt at the top as high as you can. In order to get full contraction on this exercise, I like to press up and hold at the top for about a split second, so like a one or two count. So press up, one, two, and then start to lower back down. That way I know I have a full contraction at the top. And I also like to make sure I'm controlling the weight on down. That way I'm getting a good working, <clears throat> excuse me, a good focus on my hamstrings and glutes on that descent as well as when we are pressing up. So again, feet about hip distance apart here, feet flat on the floor, nice and close into the butt, pressing up, squeezing that butt at the top as high as you can get, and then controlling the weight on down. Most common mistake I see made on this exercise is just not getting into the right position. A lot of times people won't focus on making sure the shoulder blades are off the bench, but the low back is on the bench. So sometimes I'll see people down here with just the neck and kind of that upper back on that bench, and that's really hard to perform this movement. Or other times I'll see people scoot way up here, and then they're not really having to do a whole lot of work in the glutes to press on up. So make sure those shoulder blades are on the bench, but the rest of the body, as soon as that shoulder blade ends, that's the rest of the body is gonna be off of the bench. Another big thing to remember on this exercise, press all the way up, squeeze and control it down. Another common thing I see is people flying through this exercise and not getting all the way up in the air, so not getting full contraction and squeeze at the top. So slow it down a little bit, get as much range of motion as you can, start off with a light weight so you can get all the way up and control it down and then start progressing up to finding weights that are challenging for you and you're feeling that difficulty towards the end of those reps to where it's hard to get all the way up and get that full contraction.